Hello everybody, my name is Mario and I'm here to teach you how to do a high-pitched dubstep synth like this. So something kind of like that. Um, so we're going to use free software. Uh, I want to do a series on just how to use free software to make a lot of things like 808 kicks or dubstep synths, different things like that because I've been learning over this past year how to do a lot of this stuff on my own because there's not a lot of tutorials for free things necessarily. Not that there aren't any, but uh, let's just get started. Okay, so we're going to use FM4. So all you need to do is just go to Google, type in FM4, and it'll be this first link right here on Tone Bytes. Download it, uh, install it in Ableton by going to Options, Preferences, Audio, or File Folder, I mean. And then just find the folder where all your VSTs are, and you should be good. Okay? So I'm going to go to my VST plugins right here, and I'm going to put FM4 on the track. There we go. So we start off with this preset, which uh, you can't start off with just a blank slate, which is, I guess that's, it's okay. But uh, it would be nice to have. Okay, so what we're going to do is change op all the operators to sine waves. So you want to click on it, left click, and choose sinus waves. So that's how it sounds like. We're going to change the algorithm to algorithm 1. And we are going to turn off the envelope for now, even though there's nothing even on it. And everything else can stay, I think. Okay, so what we want to do is turn down the levels for operators 1 and operator 2. So we'll turn both of those down. Then with operator 3 and 4, we want to turn them all the way up. For operator 3, change the course knob to 2 semitones and change the operator 4 course knob to negative 3. And to get to this menu, you just right click on the knob. Okay? So this is kind of how it sounds right now. Okay? And to get that wobble kind of sound, what you want to do is turn the amount of the weight of the LFO tab, go to the LFO tab and turn the amount up. And that's how you get that wobble. And I'm going to go ahead and turn the volume down because it's probably really loud. So right here. And then what we're going to do is turn up the resonance to about right there, or a little bit lower. Maybe right there. Then we're going to turn up the boost. And what this is going to do is add a little bit of distortion. Right there, not too much. Okay? Next thing you want to do is go to your envelope. And we're going to draw a little envelope that kind of slopes down, so like this, and put all these points down. And what this is going to do is just add a little bit of a thump at the beginning, so we'll change this to global pitch, and we'll turn this up. Okay. So it just adds a little bit of a thump at the beginning. You don't have to do that, but if you want to, there you go. Okay. So then I'm going to click mono and portamento, turn it down, just so that there's no overlapping notes. See? So none of your, your notes will overlap. Okay. Now the last thing, or some last things to add in. Uh, you can change the speed of the wobbles through here. Or... Um, if you want to, a cool way to automate this is make a group by right clicking. Then what you want to do is open this and click configure. This is going to open up. Then you want to go to the LFO speed and change the speed so that Ableton recognizes that you changed it, that you want to change this uh, parameter. Then you're going to want to right click on the parameter, map to macro one, and now you can change it right here. And then if you click map, you can set the minimum and the maximum. Now these value numbers right here are not too helpful, but at least you can get the job done. And there we go. And some final touches I think would be just a little bit of reverb. So just throw a reverb on there, turn it down, maybe high quality. Turn down the decay time. And there we go. 
so we just finished the instrument. Um, I, that's basically it. And if you want to, you can actually just mess with these knobs and get a little bit of different sound. So there we go. We're done with the instrument. I uh, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I, I would like to do more. Just let me know if you want me to do more, if you have a specific instrument in mind. Um, well, thanks for watching and bye.